And welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> totally natural sounding. To the Good Boop Show. That's exactly right. This is a portion of the show we like to call Good Boop, Bad Boop. That noise that the camera just made, <laughs> was it a good boop? Kevin, your thoughts? Perhaps. Very good. Down with boop brutality. Exactly. I would say it's a good boop. Well, all right. You heard it here first. It was a good boop. What the hell, man? Why are you disagreeing with me? Uh, majority rules. You were wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I'm Thanks, agreeing everybody. to disagree. Wow, we're just all over the place. How controversial uh, about something so stupid. Or something? What are you, like French? <sighs> I, I am reporting you, okay? Yeah, Philippe. Yeah, none of that. Philippe. I need a cheese break, okay? Yes, sir. I'm But of chaos. De je ne sais quoi? During the break, we found out a little fun fact that Matt and Kevin have something kind of in common. As you may recall, Kevin. Eskimo brothers. Yep, that's right. <laughs> Kevin is. Yep, I they're Eskimo brothers. Yes. But not only that, Kevin used to work at Chuck E. Cheese's. Yes. And Matt, where did you used to work? Well, my cousins opened up a establishment known as Kitty Kingdom in Niles, Illinois. Check it out. It's uh, similar to Chuck E. Cheese, but better because the food is actually good. Weird. And well, uh, screw you! I used to cook the food at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> well, <laughs> I knew the guy who cooked the food at Kitty Kingdom, Manuel, <laughs> and Manuel was super cool. Um, he called me Goofy, and like, whenever I'd walk in, like Goofy, like the Disney character. Yeah, that was like his name for you. Yeah, his, was and my like, name was so Goofy. goofy. Okay. Yeah, no, my name was Goofy. And he'd be like, hey, Goofy. And he'd always say, like, oh, pinch a Goofy, which is like, <laughs> fucking Goofy, you <laughs> fucking dork. And, like, and he'd always, um, like, I just remember every time I would, like, do something goofy or, like, silly or just, like, anything, he would just be like, what the fish? Like, that was his, like, catchphrase. <laughs> what the fish? Because <laughs> it's, like, a kid place. Like, you can't go, like, you can't be yeah. overheard in the kitchen no, but you, saying You can fuck. say pinche. But you can say pinche because the kids don't. Well, I guess it was in like Niles. Niles probably has like some. There's definitely a lot of Mexican kids that went there. Sure. Oh, but you know, a lot of the time yeah. I was just at the counter, like the toy counter, like where the kids would come. With the tickets? And yeah, the tickets. And like I would just give them like those fruit flavored Tootsie Rolls. And, yeah, dude. And like those little bracelets, like the neon colored yeah. bracelets, tops. like the friendship bracelets. I, tops. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Erasers. Little, oh, yeah. Did Erasers. And like then like behind me it was like the disco balls, the little lava lamps, the bouncy balls. 50,000 tickets. Right. And yeah. And uh, we didn't have any prizes like that at ours was all kids shit and it's yeah. funny now they have that they still have kitty kingdom and then next door is salon m which is like my cousins also own like his sister originally had the salon and then next door to that i guess they bought out the strip recently and there's like an adult arcade bar <laughs> uh it called uh uh it's like named after my cousin. I should I should know this. Isla Sophia's. I don't know. It's it's <laughs> me. It's, it's like a it's like a it's like a, an adult arcade bar. So like, is that gambling or is that porn or no, what does that like, mean? No, it's like it's like Emporium. You know that both. Okay. Yeah. Instead of seven seven seven, you gotta get like three dicks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I guess I shouldn't say adult. I, it's just it's an arcade bar. Gotcha. I don't know. I say like adult a, arcade. Yeah. So well, like it's a, just because there's a like Kitty Kingdom over here, and then like on the other side is like the adult version of Kitty yeah, Kingdom, like, so where there's alcohol. You start here. And you end here, right? I don't yeah. fucking I don't get life. why they call it like adult arcade. As far as like, because there's like, alcohol, maybe because like oh, kids yeah, can't yeah. go in. But but I, I mean, didn't I, think about like the whole sex. So thing. you don't feel like a nerd or a child? It's an adult arcade. Yeah. Well, no. Yeah. Exactly. Well, nowadays nerds are cool, right? Yeah. Well, like I, the thing. Well, I mean, I've been to places where they have like the casino slot things, and it says like only adults can use them. Because adults don't use tokens, right? That's right. They use cold hard cash. They use yeah. people money and Dollar, lose it. Dollar bill. Did y'all. you did you guys hear what happened to the Go Bananas in Norwich? No, you didn't hear about that. No. So Go Bananas is yeah, another. Heard, you heard about that? I think I think I know what you're talking yeah. about. I remember Go Bananas. Yeah, yeah it used to be yeah. called Jeepers. You're right. Yeah, you're right. it was like the indoor like I, yeah, Chuck E. Yeah, Cheese with like roller coasters. Like some yeah, big fight or something. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, it, so it's like another Chuck E. Cheese, except yeah. with a monkey now and I, and roller coasters. I used to yeah. sort, I used to sort the tokens at uh, Chuck E. Cheese out every Monday. Yeah, and I used to well, so many go bananas tokens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and there was this other place called uh, Free Mo's Pizza. It just said on Free Mo's Pizza, Mo Pizza, Mo Fun. Well, you, <laughs> you amen. Gotta, yeah, you got to save those go bananas because they might be 
the real yeah. Bitcoin. So you wait, know, yeah. what? <laughs> from that guy that was selling Chuck E. Maybe, Cheese. Maybe it's the Fremo's Pizza because I looked it up and the place was closed. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. that's an antique. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a souvenir from a simpler well, time. Well, someone like put in like two hundred and fifty-seven of them in one game once. <laughs> like we'd always find like thousands of them every time we had. Uh, damn it, Fremo! Yeah, yeah <laughs> damn you, <laughs> Mo Pizza, Mo Fun. <laughs> wait, what happened to Go Bananas? No, well, th- like Norwich, like. I don't. E- I don't even know how to explain it in a, a non-offensive big, way. A big fucking fight broke out. Yeah, like like Norwich is. They made a huge fucking petition, and they're getting Go Bananas to get the fuck out of there because there's like, a shitload of like people straight from like the get ghetto rat fucking neighborhoods coming there and trashing the fucking place. Like they literally fights with each other. And yeah, yeah. They they had they literally had like a page dedicated to the fights at Go Bananas. Happening Wait, in their page where. On on Facebook, there's it's it was like the world star hip hop every single day at Go Banana. Yeah. yeah, like worldwide, like what's it? Uh, what's that? Uh, world star like. hip hop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was literally like that. I broke up a fight or two at Chuck E. Cheese too. Between parents, and yeah, kids. Oh, with parents. <laughs> How about like, the Kitty Kingdom? Is that a violent place? I've never heard of fights breaking See, out there. It just sounds better and better. My cousin who owns the spot's like super jolly dude. Like he's a goofball, and like I feel like if someone's about to get in a fight, he would just like. I don't know, like, he'd probably kick him out. He's, like, a big Italian dude, but, like, still. He's a goofy guy. He's funny. He'd, he'd probably, like, Maybe make that's, a joke it's because it's the name thing. Yo, man, I heard this place called Go Bananas. Guess where <laughs> you can go there? <laughs> bananas. <laughs> <laughs> you can find that under B. In Closing down Go Bananas, where you're going to open up our own Go Nuts, yo. <laughs> but, Kevin, were you going to say something? No, I was just going to say fuck you. Oh, that's hurtful. I'm surprised they do they let you around any uh, playgrounds or anything. Wow. Yeah. Are you reading that insult book of yours, or are you no. just being mean? <laughs> just being mean. Oh. When I when I when I uh, start to grow closer to someone, I start to lash out. So in a weird way, I'm saying I love you. In oh, a I very weird way. That. Yeah. But go fuck yourself. Oh. Yeah. I grew up yeah. with two older brothers. That's definitely a vibe. Yeah. So what sort of food do they serve at Kitty Kingdom? You said it was much better than Chuck E. Cheese's? Yeah, oh yeah, they had pizza and nice. like most regular Italian cuisine, if I, if I remember. I mean, I remember mozzarella sticks. Nice. And We had mozzarella pr- stars. Mozzarella <laughs> stars. <laughs> That's pretty um, cool. You just sold me, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think those days are slightly repressed from my memory because it was just... I did not enjoy it. Well, what did you have to do? You worked behind the counter. So I worked behind the counter. I did a lot of cleaning, a lot of mopping. That's where I really learned how to mop, like sure. a man. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, goofy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I did. Well, they also had me dress up in the king costume. <laughs> yeah, there is like a full body costume of a king with like the hat and like the curly mustache. I bet you uh, they still have that's it. That's when problems are gonna start. Yeah. Right. Oh. So like eventually, like when I first started working there, it was always like looming on the horizon, like. My cousin was always like, yeah, one day we'll have you be in the king. And because that was like his thing, like sometimes he would do it. And then he was like, yeah, no, fuck that. Like, you're going to do it now. And is that a promotion? <laughs> no, it is I not. Man, it's, it's your day. day. Yeah. So I would have to like go in the office and like put on the king costume like for a private party or like it'd be like, OK, there's like two or three birthdays today. So like we need to make it a big deal. <laughs> and like I would like put the king costume on and like he's like, yeah, just, like, you know, walk around the like, arcade, like give kids high fives, like, you know, maybe like do some like jolly things. <laughs> <laughs> and there would always be like, you know, the little kids that like see me like from afar and be like. And then, like, I'd, like, walk in their general direction and then, <laughs> ah, like, run yeah. away towards their parents. And, like, uh, you know, like, what am I supposed to do? Like, so, so and then, be, like, there's... You're the, you're the sneak king. Like, I'm Yeah, oh. and, but then, like, and then there's... So there's, like, the criers. There's, like, the regular <laughs> kids who are, like, conscious that it's, like, someone in a suit. And they're just, like, yeah, yeah, fuck this guy. <laughs> and there's, like, the kids who are actually, like, that's the king, like, fuck yeah. <laughs> and then there's, like, the huggers, and which is, like, <laughs> they're, like, past the crying stage and not quite where they're, like, oh, yeah, it's, like, this guy. They're, like, oh, I just want to hug you. And, Everything like. Everything he's saying is correct. And, yeah, and, like, they're, like, they're, like, you know, their head is at my waist, and they're, like, coming up and hugging my legs. Like, they can't, like, and I can't do anything about it. Like, you know, you just, like, pat Push their them head. Off. And yeah. I'm, like, this is fucked up. Like, I'm, I'm, like, patting their heads just, like, oh, 
God. I'm Get like, up. I'm like a sexually frustrated like <laughs> eight, like freshman or like eighth grader. Like, oh, oh God. God. <laughs> Better hope you don't have morning boner. Than, no, uh, seriously. I've been headbutted uh, like that too. Kid, perfect height, just ran right into me. Oh, no. <laughs> like, they'll, and they'll hug you like right, like frontal hug like their head is basically at your dick and you're right like, by the skeevy's lizard yeah uh, the thanks same, little yeah. guy at the same time though i had someone hug me from behind and i farted right in her face <laughs> <laughs> dude i got i got like hit in the nuts one time and it hurts like i i i had to take a shit wait at titty kingdom <laughs> Yeah. No, no, just in general. I, I forgot. I think I fell off my bike. Oh, I always and, have to take a shit. I take a hit in the nuts. And, <laughs> and dude, I, I, I like, I looked and I'm like, holy fuck. Here, here's the funny thing. I have this friend, Nancy, who's, she's, she's like this person that like everybody, she's a family friend of mine and everybody in my like mom's circle talks about her because like, oh, she's going to be a, sur- she actually is going to be like a surgeon get high paid and all this shit. Yeah, so everybody's cool. talking about her because she's the golden, ch- you know. <laughs> and the funny thing is I had her number because we grew up together. Nice. Like every time I have a medical, like, I- I'm like, great, this is great because anytime I have a medical problem, I'll call her. And like the two times I called her, this is so ridiculous. The one time was I found out that your men are supposed to have a really thick vein in your left ball. And because I got hit in the nuts, I called her if to see if I have ball cancer. Do you want to send me? Do you, do you want me to send pics? <laughs> 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 and then, and then you know, you, you know what the second time was? I'm not even kidding. Like I, I think I was in a really bad trip on brownies, <laughs> almost acid. Where like I just I love everybody, and I think I like called her. And I'm like, is it possible that you can find out uh, you're gay from being too high? And she, she like didn't even know what to fucking say. <laughs> so I'm like, totally I, heard. I just I love everybody right now. Yeah. You know? I got this. Uh, <laughs> I got one of my friends a job with me at Chuck E. Cheese, and he uh, when he every, when he first started, everyone thought he was gay. He wasn't, but they asked me if he was gay. I was like, well, yeah, obviously he is. So for like three months, every girl was like all into him, pretty much. <laughs> because, That's, yeah, oh. thought, every girl was like all into him, but like the only who was just being very nice. <laughs> And he yeah. and he probably didn't know about it. He's like, yeah, yeah man, yeah. got my mojo up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I loved. Ah, no. Yeah, he was so pissed off at me when I, after I did that to him, though. <laughs> yeah. No, you were saying how like I, I'm telling you, man, those fights are gonna start with the that king mascot because you know I got your money, boss. <laughs> you you the real Latin king, you know. Oh I'm no. Telling, <laughs> no, and speaking of that, no, like, dude. So I got this buddy. Do you know who uh, Clay Dealshine is? You know that is his, or they they call him Skunk. I I don't even know what he is. He like hosts punk shows, and he he shaves his head like a skunk, and he's just he he just has really really funny Facebook posts. He he's just like a Chicago figure. I don't even know what to call him. He's just a really funny. Like he was telling me how like he was he was trying to go out with this new chick, and he was eating her out, and like suddenly like his teeth felt weird, and he fucking pulled out a condom with his mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, like just just shit like that, or or, or I, I had a I, friend like that too. I think he had a rotting toe, so he drew a smiley face and eyes on top on the actual toe, and then the the, the nail was like the mouth. Blah, 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 blah. Like, he's just. Anyways, he posted this picture, and it was so fucking bizarre. I had to check out what it was, dude. So he posted this video of there's like this super fat lesbian rapper. I guess her name's like Buddha G. Yeah. Have you heard of this? <laughs> no. Dude, so she so she like I don't know if it was like she wanted to look more manly or if what whatever. You know how when when you get those um I mean it's more like a a gang type style. You know when you get like the I forgot what it's called like the lining on your hair? Yeah. Uh, like a fade or something. Yeah, yeah. So she couldn't get the lining cuz her hair didn't grow this so she had it tattooed on. Yeah. But it's no. tattooed it's tattooed on crooked. <laughs> So instead of like starting at the side of her eye, it's like above her eye. She's got this video and he posted it. And the funny thing is like, oh, I think I know who that woman is. Like he posted this video. And the weirdest thing in the comment section, two days ago, she's in jail for mo- murder the day wow. before. Because I guess she was in a drive-by. They're actually in a gang and they did a drive-by in Palatine at a hotel. Hmm. Wow. Um, Wait. And I'm like, that doesn't look too intimidating. Like, you know, it's Pat from SNL. Mm-hmm. With with tattoos on her face, like exactly, yeah. Was it microblading? Is what it's not on your eyebrows. Not on your on your hair, like, like, like up here, right here. 
Huh. So she so she had like like if you like if you lined this up so it looks clean. She gotcha. had a tattooed right here. How? Oh no! So, so it looks really but fucking ridiculous. How was? I've got her music video up. Here. Yeah. How was her music? <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> oh, I, see, I see the tattoo fade. Right. How does it look? Uh, pretty. She's she's got face tattoos and neck tattoos already. Okay. So, like, she's got tattoos everywhere, and everyone's got guns, and they're just pointing the guns at the camera. That's pretty too. She it's looks cool. kind of like a. She's like you know, Andy Milanakis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. But I don't want to like. Maybe if she hears this, we might get like shot. Where, is, yeah. where are they from? Like New York or something? No, they're no. from Palatine. <laughs> the oh. Palatine. Yeah, that's where the shooting was. <laughs> and, and the thing Illinois. that made me laugh the most is like how. how okay, so we were talking. Uh, we were talking about it in the car earlier. Like I, I was. I've been listening to this Mafia podcast. Yeah. And how like uh, different crews have different names. Her crew is called the Polo Gang. Oh, it's almost four twenty. Oh damn! You have an alarm. <laughs> <seriously>? <laughs> <laughs> no, so 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 her crew's called the Polo Gang because they all wear Shit, only is. polo, My man. which which I, I don't know. I think that's pretty fucking cheesy. Like like I polo I, gang. I, I looked her up on Facebook and and like her cover photo is like everyone pol- in polos, pol- polo speedos with uh, with like hundred dollar bills tucked in them. I Wait, don't know. Is polo a brand? I thought polo was like a style. No, polo like Ralph Lauren. So, so we can start the Calvin line. Klein gang, you know. Right, but Shunk. isn't like the polo like the style of a shirt? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, but it's also like a, co- a company. Yeah, got you. Because they because they make polos, and I think that's what they were the most known for. Then they started making like cologne and underwear. Okay, right. that's cool. Good for them. <laughs> and good for Buddha G. You can said we, she was doing well. She's uh, in jail. She's yeah. a lot of, oh. <laughs> she seems to have a lot of views, like more views yeah. than any of my band's shit. She's the, little, her. She's the little pump. 632,000 views on Booty G Slide G-Mix. Oh, Ryan Lynch, wait, that, official video. I love that remix. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually a G-Mix. All right, you guys are just trying to, <laughs> you guys are trying to make this so that I'm the only one who gets shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Booty G. Booty G. <laughs> Uh, well, Reggie Watts is recommended for me, and he's awesome. That's so. cool. Wait, is that like a similar artist on like Spotify? Like you don't know Reggie Watts? No, I do. But oh, like, okay. are you looking up Buddha G on like Spotify? And like people who enjoy Buddha G also enjoy. <laughs> it's YouTube. It's the uh, the YouTube recommended for me. Gotcha. So so I was telling uh Matt and Bill uh Kevin that um you, I was looking up if um if there's such thing as a Polish mafia. Yeah. Because they because they they have a they literally every fucking historical like about mafias. And they actually have one in New York, and it's called the Kielbasa Posse, <laughs> which, like, wow, how intimidating. And the funny thing was, too, that, like, yeah, this guy got raided in 2009. They found ecstasy, a shitload of iPods, pierogi, and an 18th century violin stolen from a museum. <laughs> like, that sounds like the Kielbasa Posse. You know? Like the Stradivarius. <laughs> yeah. Like. yeah, yeah, Stradivarius, yeah. They stole It was an 18th century Stradivarius, yeah. Wow. I know it was called Strat something. I'm pretty. I'm, I know it's not a Fender Strat violin. <laughs> right. So. Yeah. Wasn't that the? That's really cool. So, man, yeah. that's ambitious, right? That's. You know what's fucking crazy? Have you guys ever listened to Radio Lab? Yes. No. Have Have you, Matt? No. No. Pa- I don't know Radio so Lab. it's like a super informative. Like, I I love it because it's like su- it's just like information and it's unbiased. Yeah. It's I feel like, like NPR. Yeah. And I was, I'm, uh, somebody, I forgot who recommended it to me. So I'm like, oh, I'll check out. And I'm looking through it and I wanted to see the most current one. And it was about guns. And it actually said that I didn't know this, that the reason why we even have like gun rights and gun control was started by Black Panthers. Really? And it's funny that like rednecks are the, are, are like, no, this is our shit. And it's like, th- nobody says like, thank God for the Black Panthers, you know. Mm-hmm. No, I feel like gun rights were from like the Constitution, no? Yeah, like, yeah, it was from the Constitution. But he, the, the loophole was that the Second Amendment says, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to quote it exactly, but it was something like the right to bear arms uh, definitely when, when there's a threat of a state militia or something. Right, right. And nobody mentions that state militia part when they say the right to bear arms. And around like the fifties like, and sixties, you have the right to bear arms if like your government's fucking up and like you want to revolt. Right. That's yeah. what America's based on. And so when when the Black Panthers went to court because there were just all these cops just sh- 
killing and fucking shooting black people in the 60s. They made Black Panthers and bought a shitload of guns. And, you know, there was this, like, huge ride. Oh, my God, like, the black people are after us. When it was like, no, we're, like, we're going against the state militia, and this is actually legal. Right. And they actually took it a step further to have gun rights to, to be able... Because I think it was something like you can only have, like, a pretty much a fucking musket for hunting or something. So they made it a step towards legal as far as, like, handguns because they were sort of, like, right. arguing about, you know... I mean, yeah. in back in the day, the guns that they used were not nearly as powerful as they are now. So, like, having a yeah. gun was, like, you know... I mean, there there was still machine guns, but they were saying, like, there's no way that's for hunting or self-defense or something. So you can only have, like, a one single-shot rifle, like, when you train for, like, ROTC or something. Okay. Makes which sense. is why they, like, took it a step for, like, how are we supposed... Like, there's a less of a population of black people who are getting oppressed than how much police are fucking us over mm-hmm. yeah so i don't know i thought it was kind of cool speaking of that what was cool is i played mafia 3 recently yeah <laughs> fucking awesome like oh my god like so so one and two is like your stereotypical like godfather italian immigrant comes to like yeah. f- you know story three is about um you're a black guy you just came from vietnam and you're going back to New Orleans and you kind of want to run like the, I think they're running like the heroin trade. Yeah. And there's all these like other mobs going in your neighborhood and ruin, ruining it. So you have to take it over. And it's fucking crazy because do you guys um, you ever remember that disclaimer for Call of Duty? That was the offensive level. Do you know what I'm talking about? No, no. There's I, don't, a, I don't like Call of Duty. Th- there, <laughs> there's a level where you go undercover f- with the Russians and they just go to an American airport, and you're oh, supposed yeah. to shoot civilians. I remember that. Yeah. It's like you can skip this level if you want. Yeah, it's yeah. Like kind of fucked up. They they had a disclaimer like that before playing any of Mafia Three because the whole like you know how in um, GTA if you do if you act like suspicious your cop meter goes up. Yeah, the stars or whatever. Mafia Three, you can't go anywhere just because you're black. Like they literally they're constantly Look dropping in bombs. Character. Like get the hell out of my store. This is Watts only. You know, uh-huh. and. It's I I don't know it, it I mean I hate to say it I sound like a fucking meathead but it really teaches you about racism being in that fucking Time, point of view like, instead of yeah. reading a fucking book. No, it's just a video game, but it's like it gives you a sliver of like yeah how it was. <laughs> Plus the, the the biggest thing I like about all those games is that it moves with the styles of the clothing and the cars and the music oh, with yeah, like the time. When, I like when they do that. Yeah. Yeah. So like all of you know like Mafia Two is like thirties to fifties. Uh, like you know, you know, pretty much Goodfellas soundtrack. Yeah. But then all of Mafia Three is like Aretha Franklin, Temptations, Flamingos, 70s, 60s, mm-hmm. 70s, yeah. like L.A. Noir. Yeah. Yeah. That that that's a that's another good example. But yeah. All those uh, that was a good game too. That's a great game, man. Yeah. I love the uh, the Fallout soundtracks too. Oh, the Fallout soundtracks yeah. are cool. Yeah. I haven't played any video games in years though. Yeah. I play on PC, the Master Race. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> what I, do you play? Uh, Fallout, Far Cry. You get down with the the Player Unknown. Uh, no, PUBG. No, I don't play that. Have you Have you played that game? Like, uh, what's it? Endless Planet. It's like it's like supposed to be like a universe, like where you just like can like travel infinitely. Is it Mass Effect. No, no, it's like it's not like a war or fighting game. It's literally just like you sail traveling around? the universe and like finding planets and like crazy shit like that. That's cool. Planet Coaster. No, it's like uh, new. It's like newer. Oh, I that's remember. A, that's a game when you like. It's like a roller coaster tycoon, but like <laughs> it's on different planets. That's cool. Yeah, it's like forty dollars still. So I'm waiting for it to go on sale. I it's like the shit tire. out of roller coaster tycoon. That was like my favorite yeah. game as a kid. <laughs> yeah, like uh, I have the original one on my PC too. It just sucks now. I can yeah. only imagine. Yeah, the nostalgia is just gone. Yeah. Yeah. It's just like past that point where it's like no. Yeah. Like it did not age well. Exactly. No Man's Sky. Nomad no Sky? No Man's, like No Man's Land, okay. but No Man's Sky. That's cool. Oh, let me see the cover for that. I think I heard it. I thought I heard it sucked. <laughs> it's I'm Kevin. I hate everything. No, I just heard a lot of bad reviews. But it sounds so cool. Yeah, that was that was the thing. It had a lot of hype. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. I don't know. I'd like to very quickly give a shout out to this episode's sponsors. Uh, no Man's Sky. Pick up a copy <laughs> at GameStop. Near you. Also, the man book. The man book. Yeah. Otto Defay. Uh, Buddha G. 
um, <laughs> available on Please iTunes. don't shoot us. Yeah. We, we Asterisk. I mean, some Pringles. I might be thinking of a different <laughs> game. I don't know. Well, and Pringles. It's supposed yeah. to be cool. Like, you travel like the universe and just kind of like... It's kind of like GTA, but instead of going around killing people in, in like... I don't know. I don't. Maybe it's not like GTA. I wish I had a PS4 so I can play that new Spider-Man. It's more like Spore, I guess. Spore was all right. I just beat a Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Yeah. It's really fucking cool. It's like um, all, it, the name. It's all advanced, so you're like, at any moment you can toss up a small drone yeah. and shoot from the sky. Then then like there's people in like transformer bots fighting. Have, yeah. you, have you played uh, Cuphead? No. No. On oh, Mugman? Yeah. I love Cuphead. You know the, the the funny thing in the Call of Duty though is that the villain is played by and the character is like they built him perfectly Kevin Spacey. Really? So, <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Oh so, yeah, that game. I know which one. I know which one you're so talking about. So it makes about. him yeah. so much more eviler yeah. after all that shit that happened. <laughs> I, li- I I only played the uh, like the multiplayer. I never really actually played the storylines. Yeah, uh, Exo Zombies yeah. or. Uh, I just like to play like just going to like Nuketown pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Fuck shit up with a shotgun. Yeah. Do you think like the military looks at Call of Duty and they're like, "Oh yeah, yeah, we we could do that with drones." D- like, I, oh, I'm pretty sure they do. Do they? <laughs> yeah, Is that absolutely. Well, who who did it first? Like, were they playing Nightfire on James Bond? They're like, "Oh yeah, a briefcase machine gun. That's a pretty good idea. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put our research money there." That's a CIA thing, actually. That was in uh, Deadliest Warrior. So really? It was real. Yeah, huh. they, were, they were comparing so. it against like the camera gun. The, I bet the camera gun? Yeah, like uh, another, like the KGB, like they uh, they put like a bullet inside of a camera when they take the picture of like some pol- a politician or something, they shoot a it shoot a bullet at them compared to like the like the the briefcase gun, we just like uh, pull a pin. That's insane. Yeah. That ugh. Yeah, yeah. CIA has got some weird shit. Like yeah. I, I, and the, the mafia explosive pot- cigars actually weapon too. Oh Did yeah, they, they yeah. tried doing that to someone to Castro. All right. I tried really? doing it to Ross yeah. actually with the firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch way too many fucking documentaries. <laughs> I no, they. I was listening that that on that mafia podcast. They were talking about how like the CIA, like all this shit is actually released. This is not conspiracy theory. They released this. They admitted it that CIA during the whole. Um, I forgot exactly if it was North North Brook scandal or the Tan Tan Wanton the. Guantanamo Bay? Gu- not Guantanamo Bay. Something. <laughs> else. But what they did was they 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 were going to send a shitload of U.S. friendlies to the to Cuba, and um, they were going to have they paid a bunch of Cuban guerrillas to bomb the U.S. soldiers to kill them, so that they had a reason to start a war with Cuba. Oh, and they yeah. actually like admitted to this. And then like the other thing was too that uh, while Hoover was president. He didn't want to go after the mafia at all because there's so much shit run by them that he's like, you know, the the economy's actually Function ha- up. functioning. They're helping. Right? No, it's yeah. not. Hoover was president during the Depression. Like, yeah, yeah, I'm talking about like separate ca- separate stories. Yeah, but Hoover's like a terrible president. Well, well, uh, well, I'm just saying, like, he was like, uh, th- that's that's what the story and, and the CIA actually like once once that sh- shit happened with Cuba after like Hoover because because because. Okay, so the Hoover thing happened first. Wait, do you mean President Hoover or J. Edgar Hoover? Of President Hoover. Okay. So President Hoover did not want to go after the mafia at all. And I, I'm not really clear on what the reason was. But it was like he just wanted to leave him alone. And then you know what Rico is, right? No. Re, uh, it's like racketeering something. I learned that about that in Sons of Anarchy. I kind of know what it is. They kind of like... It's kind of it's kind of confusing. They try to like um, it is bring con- up evidence of like past crimes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's yeah. where the, it's where they have to find proof of an organization. They have to find proof that you are in that organization, and whatever that organization did, everybody affiliated with it gets charged with it. So like if I don't know, me and Kevin were in the Kilbasa Posse, you know, mm-hmm. and you guys are just That's on this man. podcast. If you did anything around us and say we like murdered twenty people, you guys get charged with those mur- twenty people too, just because you're affiliated with the organization. Okay, yeah. With this, just in, we actually did do that. Yeah, that was like last week, I think. Yeah, man. It was a, it was a double date. Oh no, five apiece. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm surprised I haven't trying to top Rico. that. Uh, trying to top that Polo Buddha yeah. G gang. Yeah. But man, uh, <laughs> stop. You're you're poking <laughs> the bear, man. No, any, anyways, uh, right to poke the bear arms, you know. No, but <laughs> any, anyways, uh, 
Wait, the, where's the? Do you have the? No, the, the soundboard's not handy. Dur- yeah. oh. dur- dur- during during that time, the CIA actually hired the mob to like f- fight the Cuban <laughs> War because they they thought like that these regular like you know Goomba unskilled <laughs> you know just criminals basically would be more like efficient to like set up more this war. To them, yeah. And I, I I don't know I just thought it was crazy that they admitted that all this they shit happened. That they were doing some like you know? serious yeah. conspiring. Because right. I'm not saying you know I'm not saying a solid quote but. Wait twenty years from now, See the what, shit that what, happens from like nine eleven, right? Yeah, like what or they the, start admitting to. They'll never admit to nine eleven. I don't think. Yeah, is that what we think? I is think. That, I mean, I guess we'll find out one day. Interesting. I gotta ask. Wh- <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kevin. We have a delayed drunk audience. <laughs> 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 maybe, maybe they just heard that, like you know. Yeah. Last call or something. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Last <laughs> call. <laughs> They're just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's perfect for us. That's. Yeah. I'm saying they're just at I, home okay. listening to. I, re- I I need somebody to tell me what the fuck is all this Kavanaugh shit? Because I I don't I don't like I listen know. to news at all. Like what the fuck is everybody's posting about this shit? What the fuck is it? I don't know. Some woman came out about sexual allegations. So Kavanaugh like Kavanaugh is being nominated for like the Supreme Court, right? Yeah. It's Donald Trump's first nominee, and and then as soon as he like started, you know, the process or whatever, then he started raping. Started, you no, know, people started like digging on his past and found out that he was like, I don't, I don't watch the news enough, but I know that they started digging into his past and found out that he's like, he raped some people, multiple people, maybe sexually assaulted multiple people, women. So hmm. and so Trump's like, oh no, it's total bullshit. But everyone's like. No, this guy's a fucking like rapist, basically, and like he shouldn't be a Supreme Court judge. Like, and so there's like all this conspiracy. <laughs> you know, I don't really watch the news. I kind of have a a fucked up story. Uh, Wait, what are people posting about the Kavanaugh thing? Oh, just that. Oh, uh, you know, don't don't let him be in there. He's a rapist, and just back just back and forth. And he's like, oh, this accusation is actually wrong because they got this word wrong. It's just back and forth fight. You know, you know the same. Novel list of people bitching about shit on Facebook, the regular. And, and I'm just like, what makes this one old goober so significant right now? You know? And I guess, I guess that's, that was my answer. Like, he's, he's Supreme Court justice elected by Trump. First choice. Well, is he a justice? Because I wouldn't want to. I think, he, I think he just, he, he's going to have his confirmation hearing. Is oh. that good? Yes. What is that's like, like when they finally make it official. So he is. The, they're putting him on the Supreme Court? I think so. Ah, that's a bummer. Yeah, I mean, but see, that's what I mean. Is like I don't know if it's a bummer because because how do we know if this any of this stuff? I don't I don't know what's true. I don't know what it's about. You know, like well, couldn't you say that about anything? Like, do we know anything is true? You know, man. Yeah, Matt, yeah. Matt, you got my back. Yeah. I was just reading about what happened. Sorry, I, I wasn't. Listening. Oh <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't important. So I what did you bro. read? Yeah, reading. Nerd. Well, just the same like what we said basically, and I guess this. Um, it's the sixth today. I guess they uh, that he is in the Supreme Court, and uh, you know our government's just as fucked as we expect it to be. Hmm. Well, so that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, boo the government. <laughs> our live studio audience is spot on. <laughs> um, but so. Yeah. See, I think th- I think that would have been better if if there was the just has a, bunch of, a bunch of sexual allegations against him, no, no. and Trump is like, oh no, they're totally false, and it makes sense because Trump also has sexual allegations against him, yeah. so of course he's like, you know, just, come on, baby, go with just us. This is Sombor's impression of the government. Yeah, 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 yeah kitty sex. <laughs> See, that's the service we're providing. We're like an approximate news source. Oh. We, we don't report news. We're misinformed news. Yeah, we're we're news-ish. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You heard it here first, Don. Hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. We really hear nothing. With the exactly. News. Man. What? I don't know. My world is so small. I don't have internet. I don't have television. So I'm very, like, I think I found out that they were making a Venom movie, like, yesterday, <laughs> which... I think was <laughs> the day after it came out. Yeah. <laughs> so it was it was fantastic. All right. You can listen to news radio, right? I, yeah, I, I could. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, well, so I Fuck live. Fuck it though. Fuck the news. Well, dude. I live in a basement unit, so I've thought about getting a radio, but it's also like. Well, you can I get like know. radio on the internet. But I don't have internet. 
You don't have internet at all? No. What about your phone? You don't use your phone? I, I don't know. I know other. I know a blind dude who plays drums, and he uses his phone. He's very active on Facebook. Oh, sure. Yeah, I mean, like I'll use data sometimes, but it's so expensive. It's not like yeah. a blind thing. It's not like, I don't need television. I don't need internet. It's like, no, I just... It's, just not it's cheaper just without it. Yeah. So well, like, you don't need entertainment. Okay. No, Ke- Kevin's not the only one who hates everything. Is where exactly. Bill. But, <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly right. I no. So I don't. I don't see people going back and forth about Kavanaugh. I'd like I don't know. Yeah, it's all new to me. Like yesterday was the Jason Van Dyke verdict. For I don't for, even know what that is. Yeah. Wait. So Laquan McDonald was like shot to death. I've heard twenty four times. Is that in Chicago? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. And the police tried to cover it up, and then it came out, and so the cop b- was on trial, and yesterday was when they were reading the verdict, and so I was just sitting at work, and one of like the higher-ups in my company come up to me, they're like, Bill, you need to go home. They're about to read the verdict. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> like, Bill, go home. Now, run. You know? <laughs> like in like Willy yeah, Wonka, like, <laughs> yeah, run home, Charlie, run home. And he got found, yeah, he got found guilty. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like... Guys- too bad for him. Like 17 counts. <laughs> yeah. So, um, well, one count of second degree murder and 16 counts of like aggravated, aggravated assault. Yeah. Assault yeah. Luckily, we're not in, you know, Norway. Like some people who only go for 21 years and then have really yeah, r- dumbass YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah, Var, we're talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we love you. Sorry. And we love your fans. We got a, we got a mayhem poster up there. Yeah, that's right. Uh, but it, but it's when he's not in it. <laughs> Pre pre varg. Yeah. Yeah. Po- post varg. Because oh, he killed. Because he killed oh, this right. thing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the whole suicide thing. Whatever. <laughs> but uh. Yeah. <clears throat> Shall we talk about some boobs here? Oh, that's right. Yeah. You're talking about entertainment. I'm a big reader, and it looks like you are as well. What do you have going on over there, Kevin? Give me a letter. T. T. Oh, well, that's titties, tatas. Oh, it's a book of. Boob. Pet it's, names for breasts. Boobs, yes. Yeah. All right. Tubular uh, ships. I want to hear like Tatas, Tahitis, talent, uh, Talents, Talapuzas. Who is oh. writing these fucking books? Uh, like, I don't know. What, <laughs> what, what, what do we call our wieners? Uh, like, to- uh, hey, like, bro, tongue twisters. You want to like, give me some wiener names? Right. <laughs> <laughs> what do they do? Like years and years the of triple, research. The, the Twin Cities. <laughs> <laughs> the Twin Flagships of twin, Ma- uh, twin Majesty's uh, Royal Navy. The twin mounds. <laughs> oh, fuck you! <laughs> Give me What's, a no- uh, H. H. I feel like that's a hard one. That is a hard one. Who who's? Hakuna Matatas. <laughs> Hakuna Matatas. What? The ham curtains. The, the hammocks for ham two. Ham curtains is more like vagina. Yeah, I know, uh, right? I guess like a beef curtain. Like uh, a yeah. Beef curtain. <laughs> so, Kevin, I have to like, when you bought this book. Yeah. Like, will you paint a picture for us? Like, you were just walking through the aisles of Barnes and Noble, no, 18 and year old Kevin. Yeah, and there Blossoming. in the distance, like, oh, like a gift from God. Pretty much, yeah. What is the title of the book? The Man Book. Oh, so those are just different chapters of the Man Book. Yeah. Oh my! I thought they were like each distinct book. No, he's exactly. only got three books. Okay. And what so books do you have, so Kevin? Yeah. The w- The Man Book. The Man Book. Would you rather? One of our other sponsors, the Urban Dictionary. That's right. Yes. So those uh, your mama jokes are in the man book. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay. Same with all the penis names. What, yeah. what I got on my the mind cars. is, since you already mentioned how much of a bummer you were at your book club with the O'Reilly recommendation, <laughs> yeah. I think you should bring the man book. They also that. teach you how to hotwire your car. Oh, well, that's, yeah. that can be useful. They, what else? Anarchist. Do yeah. they have any recipes in there? Or is that not manly? How to be a man. Uh, Recipes no. are for ladies. Barbecue. <laughs> Grilling. <laughs> grab it by the beer pussy. can chicken. <laughs> That's right. And grab yeah. it grab it by the beef curtain. Beef jerky. Now you're just talking about the They have president. beer alcohol <laughs> uh, content. They have what? Beer beer, al- beer alcohol content. Oh, the most cool. alcoholic beers, the most manliest beer, Coors obviously. Four point thirty six. He's got some highlighted in there. Yeah, the ones, that, <laughs> the ones I used to drink. Yeah, I've had this book. Had this Rolling book Rock and yeah. Miller Lite. Those Ekkies. These are the ones yeah. I know. Oh, yeah. I'm 19. But yeah, I know, right? So you were yeah. like staying up late reading by candlelight. Like, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Who are the best hockey players under, of all time? Under the sheets with a flashlight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can't wait to tell the boys about this. <laughs> they're going to have, they're going to crack up with all these titty names. Yeah, right. Uh, but, but you want to oh. call your wiener something else. <laughs> Something about the prostate I just saw. Yeah. What is 
Different names for the prostate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Piss bag. The, the not so not so quim tickler. Terms for uh, terms for sexual intercourse. Terms for sexual. All right, let's hear a few. All right, let's um, see here. Banging. Dance the the buttock jig. The, the buttock, what? The what? buttock jig. The, uh, the yeah. buttock jig. Yeah. Uh, with your <laughs> porridge pump. <laughs> Creamin. Creamin. Yeah. I don't know why I love that one so much. Is it highlighted? <laughs> no, Did you not. circle it? Like, <laughs> drop a bunch of arrows? Like. <laughs> that one's just coated with give some weird pussy dry a taste substance. Of cream. <laughs> Sorry, give what was that last one? Give pussy a taste of cream. Wow. I'm going to go uh, give pussy a taste of Give her the works. <laughs> give my pussy yeah. cat a taste of oh, some cream. Right. Ross yeah. needs yeah. to start talking to this girl he met at the every time I show, <laughs> and we need to give him this book. Exactly. Yeah, right. exactly. You, you want me to give oh you a God. taste of this pussy queen? Are there pickup <laughs> lines in there? There probably is. What is your favorite section of that book? Well, I'm right now I just found the thousand words for the female genitalia. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh, there's there's a lot of these little collections yeah. of yeah. Food. This is yeah. slang. What do is we have? It? Wait, what do we have here? That's, I'm just gonna the yeah, chuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the c word. Wow, that's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. It's really yeah. the belly thicket. The chuff <laughs> is the new c word. <laughs> the chuff. No, You're the being c- such a fucking chuff. This one's capitalized the deep. <laughs> <laughs> the deep. <laughs> The d- oh, we have one that you wrote in donut hole, <laughs> <laughs> pussy lips, <laughs> the groin. Wow, creative! <laughs> I don't like the deep, and it needs to you t- need to take it up a notch to like the Uchi abyss. Coo. Female uh, lip, juicy sewer, <laughs> Irish <laughs> pastor, <laughs> Irish pasture. La Belle Ju- Juicy chose. Sewer sounds like a Guar song. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds <Sewer>. awful. <laughs> I Lunch, don't want to have sex anymore. Lunchbox. <laughs> Love's Pavilion. <gasps> Pleasure yeah. Place. Ooh, that's a good one. What is Placket Box? Placid? Like Placket. 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 Placate? Placate? Uh, like P-L-A-C-K-E-T. All right, I got... I don't know. Would you rather... Orgasm but- Hole. It's <laughs> pretty yeah. literal. All right, we're moving on to Would You Rather. Wait, orgasm hole. Can you look up what was it? Placket in the uh, Urban Dictionary. Uh, wait, let's look up placket on Google first. I don't think right. it's going to be in the Urban Dictionary. Plaque is that like the female version this of plaque? This is up to date with the website. This is also like when I was like eighteen. So they probably don't have the good ones in there. Okay, placket. An opening or slit in a garment. Oh, God. Do you, covering do you fastenings or <laughs> giving access to a pocket. In the flap or fabric under such an opening. That's weird. Who uses that word? You, you know, it was grandma. the best when we when we looked up, uh, when I looked up our last names mm. on Urban Dictionary, and John's like, I fucking told you not to mention that was my like last episode, name. like yeah. number one or two. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's like oh, the first nice. 10 minutes. He's like, I told you one fucking thing. Don't put my last name in here. And <laughs> so th- maybe that's why he left. He was getting. Uh, hey, he just found out about episode two. And, uh, yeah, right. episode. He was, much, he was getting too much fame. Yeah, yeah. Okay. exactly. Like too many fan letters. Like I didn't want this. All right. Would you rather suck the white dried spit off the edges of a speaker's lips after a two hour talk, or Ew. suck the crud that gathers in the corner of a cat's eye? Oh. Speaker. I'd right. say cat's eye. I say speaker because. <laughs> Whoever the speaker is, they're not making anything I don't already make in my body. So it's like, all right, cool. Well, I yeah, use it probably is like smelly breath. <sighs> what do you think, Kevin? But it could be a beautiful I. woman. Yeah, I was gonna say I because I used to eat my eye boogers when I was a kid. Oh, so. <laughs> no, that's gross. <laughs> it's like Himalayan salt, man. Okay, Just a so different I'd probably go with the cat bugs too. <laughs> Dude, it's I felt so bad when my cat had a huge expanding piece of litter in his eye oh, <laughs> right by the God. eye booger the cl- you know the clumping did you get it out yeah yeah did you eat it no way no way <laughs> would you rather eat that I or it, i don't want it to expand in my stomach <laughs> so meow you know where i'm taking a piss now uh, kevin did you did you say the cat yeah i said the cat all right i'm the only should i move up yeah let's get caught by your boss masturbating in your favorite superhero outfit <laughs> or screwing his or her spouse. Also in your favorite superhero outfit? Let's uh, say yes. <laughs> yeah, why not? Let's say yes. All right. Despite what the book says. Both? It said yeah. or. Oh, both? Getting yeah, both. Yeah. Either masturbating way. on his wife while having sex in your favorite. Well, I'm Ooh. a multitasker, so I'd say both at the same time. Yeah. That's right. So it's not a would you rather. It's but How can you have <laughs> sex while masturbating? 
Oh man. Very easily. Consult the man it's book. Just, <laughs> it's in there. <laughs> well, you know, with there's a section on condoms. With, God, with what does it yeah. say? With there's a chapter just called seven. fuck. Yeah. How to say fuck in other ways. Uh, oh. Yeah. I remember Italian was. Uh, no, like you're like unfucking believable. Something like something like cool. Yeah. Like go fuck yourself. Language, Mister. <laughs> my my brother had this uh, best friend. We didn't even. <laughs> 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 our people are drunk Pre- too. Pre- presidential <laughs> alert. <laughs> Things to save for uh, for when you have a uh, when you have to wear condoms. Cover your stump before you have to hump. The wow. right to election. All right. To your, I know some amputees. Um, a crank with armor will never harm her. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I, I control that. <laughs> um, man, that's... especially in reaction time, though. <laughs> <laughs> especially in December, gift wrapped your member. That's wow. awful. Wow. That's so bad. Yeah. What were we, what were we about to do? I don't know. Would you rather? Were we going to move Oh, on? yeah. Would you yeah. Oh, more of those. Oh, no. <laughs> you were saying... Uh, Would you rather not? I Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Get everywhere by crawling. Get it now. Have to stand on your hands when you are stationary. Crawling. Yeah, I'd probably say crawl. I mean, Bill, Bill's the boozer over here, so probably well, already crawl. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> I've actually heard that crawling is actually really good for you too. Is it? Yeah. W- was what? this <laughs> was this when you were in the Marines? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, like if you crawl, no, like was it like army crawl or? I don't know. I don't know. It just says crawling. Yeah. I would suck in the winter though. It might be crawling oh, like the ring girl, you know, like yeah. that yoga pose. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yoga pose? But yeah, we're no. like yeah. oh, yeah. You just like, I thought this was the pose, like, yeah. hey. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I said crawling because I Crawl. can't stand on my hands. I don't really have a choice. Yeah, same. That shit's hard. That's like not. That's, that's, not really that's, much of a that's funny how we were talking about that, like last episode, we were talking about 23 and Me. Mm -hmm. That it said only 11% of people with my genes can do a cartwheel. That's true. And I, I, yeah, I can't fucking, my whole life I've been trying to do a cartwheel. (laughs) Like Kelly was trying to teach me it when we started going out. Like I I think I tried to have every girlfriend I went out with teach me how to do a cartwheel. I don't know why. It must have to be something to do with like the the center of gravity or something. Yeah. Maybe. Because you know how you're supposed to spread your hands and legs apart? As soon as I got on my hands, I would just fall. So it just looked (laughs) like. I was narcoleptic. <laughs> <laughs> Man, but someday you got to beat the odds. You got to show right. 23 and me that they're wrong. They misjudged you. Yeah. Who are they to say whether or not you, Philip Lisitsky, right. can do a goddamn cartwheel? I told you not to say my last name. <laughs> <laughs> there was <laughs> one rule. Oh, right. Shut the fuck up. This, is, this is your guy's show. They, the people used to tell me when I was a kid lies about being sexy. Yeah. <laughs> which is. Uh, Wait, who used to tell you that? People who didn't like me. Oh. But you know it's funny in Polish it means foxy, so it's kind of like oh. oxymoron. Foxy Phil. That's funny. Right? My last name um, is Kaglinis, and it's if you like, oh put the bike closer. If you say it, if you say my last name in Italian, like the Italian way to say it, it's Coglianese, and like the American way it's spelled is like Caglianisi. Caglianisi. Uh, but in Italian, the word for testicles is Colione. So if you like Colione and like Colianese, it means kind of like from the ball like he who has balls or like so he who comes from the balls like so godfather his... this whole time was don balls well that's <laughs> colone uh Col- colone is slightly oh, different okay. than colone but it's it's similar definitely he's got the balls fun fact about italians actually you know how to tell when someone's italian they'll tell you <laughs> <laughs> is that true matt can you confirm oh i'll tell you i'll yeah. tell you what uh yeah <laughs> You know, I, forget about it. I, 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 uh, I was trying to like, th- when I was, when I started going out with Kelly, I was like going to try and teach her how to speak Polish. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to introduce you to everyone in my Goodbye. family. And I'm going to, and I'm going to teach you by their names. You know, her name is actually Polish. She's like third generation. So like American pretty much. It means tea kettle or bird, which is Chica. And then oh, her last name. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, her, her last name. Yeah, not Kelly. What <laughs> is what what is the Polish version of Kelly? I I don't know. Kelly, honestly. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I, Kel- but like Kelly. Like, like like yeah. <laughs> I want that Kellogg's cereal. Just change your name to or kill 
kielbasa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, and then so so then my uncle's na- last name is it, it, Pachik, which either means ponchki, so it either means donut or a box. And then my aunt's maiden name is Podgorska, which is from underneath the mountain. Wow. <laughs> and Trolls. The, and the, and the, I'm like, that's pretty fucking, that sounds like a mayhem song. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and, and then and then my, my ma's maiden name means uh, Raiska. I think it just means like uh, like you're right. So I'm like, all right, he, how am I going to introduce my family to Kelly? Like, all right, what's up, tea kettle? I'm Foxy. Here's Uncle Donut slash Box. Here's Aunt from underneath the mountain, and here's Mrs. Bright. You know, wow. that, I'm like that is so fucking stupid for last night. So if you wanted to say you had a box of donuts, is it using the same word twice? No, it's it's weird. Um, Ponchki is the plural for don is donuts. Ponchek is donut. So it'd be like Ponchek. Pon- pon- Ponchek is donut. How do you say box? Pa- pa- pachka is do- is box. So, a pachka of. So so pachka. so so like donut has a has a very silent n in it, like in front of the ch or whatever. I'm trying to convert it into English. <laughs> the the z's. Yeah, because because ch in English is pronounced like cz in Polish. Okay. So I don't know. And it's got a C with like a little like tail at the bottom and like a yeah, dot yeah. above it and mm-hmm. and an accent. And it makes no sense. <laughs> yeah, you, how do how do you write it in an accent? How do you write it in there? Uh, uh, check the man book. Yeah, yeah. There's I, no I, grammar. I, I, here. I was just yeah. about to drop the n bomb. Booze, boobs, how baseball, and a kick-ass guide. Whoa, whoa! The man book. He's fighting a lion. Thanks, Otto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey. No, no, no. Like the, a Frenchman. The way you were saying it in an accent, because that reminded me. Remember when R- Ross? So so. You know how I told you, man, how like we need some editing time sometimes? Bill, we were, we were talking about which, which is a good rap, and he was Bill was wearing a NWA shirt. Uh-huh. He goes, have you ever heard of these guys? And he <laughs> and instead of, he didn't say the with attitude. He just said the first word. Oh. And what I thought about, which is really lucky for Ross, because he can't pronounce his R's, he's never going to be racist. <laughs> Sure. You still shouldn't say that word. I'm just saying. Yeah, hard say R. Or I thought it meant no a. whites allowed. No. No? Oh, okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> I hope not, because I, I own a sweater. I went to Disc Replay and I bought Straight Out of the Compton. The, no whites allowed. The, 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 the CD. And I put it in my CD player. And, like, first, like, uh, first, like, three lyrics of, um, of Straight Out of Compton. It's just, I can tell it's censored. I wouldn't think you have to look for like a parental advisory sticker on an NWA album. Yeah. You know? Well, that's what they were yeah. fighting for in uh, the 90s with, what was her name? Uh, Tipper Gore. Yeah. So was uh, Jello from Dead Kennedys, and so was Ice-T about uh, cop killer. Fighting for what, what? For freedom of speech. Oh, right. Because they wanted, which is funny because like it kind of switched sides now because it's like, no, that's hate speech. It's like, well. When when is it free speech? You know exactly. I I figure just let everybody say whatever the fuck they want, and if you're an idiot, you'll get the hate speech stuff. Mm-hmm. You know. And if you're an idiot, you'll probably get the shit beat out of you eventually if you're saying the wrong. Yeah, thing, that's hopefully. usually what happens. Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody's got a different sensitive letter or meter. What the fuck am I? I mean, yeah. what I I I want the love speech section of this, you know, record establishment. Yeah. Right. That. Yeah, censorship is bad. Because to somebody fucked up like me. That might be the love speech section. You never. Well, everything's <laughs> so subjective. Yeah. The, yeah. You know what someone might be you up over might yeah. be totally fine with someone else. Yeah. The world is a fun place. It is a fun place. What? Kevin. Yes. Urban Dictionary. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Uh. I love how because uh, when we did our last names in Urban Dictionary, Schmidt is so common. That there was like five meanings and they all contradicted each other. A very huge fucking douchebag, the best man in the world. Next one, you know, uh, ugliest piece of shit, the most handsome man. Everybody wants to fuck him. You know, like yeah. Schmitz are very very petty people. Yeah. Is what you learn from that. Eight six seven five three zero nine. A fake phone number given to guys from girls who ne- who essentially means screw off. I already have a boyfriend, freak. 
named after the uh, the number used in the uh, Tommy Two Tone song named Jenny. Jenny was supposed to be a girl whose number was found on the bathroom wall. After the song came out, people nationwide started calling the number and hopes to talk on the Jemmy. Jenny. Sent how it's used. Guy. Hey, what's your digits? Girl. Eight six seven five three oh nine. Call me. Guy. That's Damn not enough numbers. Bitch. Damn. <laughs> Wow, that was incredible. Yes. Wait, what? This was a definition? What? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> the word was 8675309. Five on it. I feel like that was um, yeah. a cheat. Like, I got chipped. I was, like, expecting something good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, keep going. Dude, like Alaskan Snow Dragon. Like, right. we had that one we don't even need the book for. Do you, do you hear about if uh, if you're about to get robbed at an ATM, all you have to do is you put in your PIN number backwards, and it alerts the police? What? Really? That's That's what I heard, yeah. All right, look it up in the man book, Kevin. Oh. Apocalypse sex. Passionate but ultimate mean, ultimately meaningless lovemaking, often uh, with casual acquaintances inspired by emotional bonding during or after an epic disaster. Oh, okay. After a few warm beers, Jessica and I uh, groped our way through the darkness and humid uh, ruins of her burnt-out apartment building where nobody's got a greater surprise than us. We ended up engaging in apocalypse sex. <laughs> All right, that's. Yeah, I that wanted apocalypse it. now. Ever heard of uh, munging? M u n g i i n g. Munging? Yeah. No. So when you and a couple of friends uh, dig up a dead corpse, like recently dead, then yeah. all you fuck uh-huh. it. Okay. And then one person has to put their he- has to put their uh, head by the vagina when someone stomps on the stomach. Oh, that's <laughs> a thing. Like. Yeah, that's a thing. That's not a thing. That is fucked. Yeah. Did you read that in that man book? No, it's in the Urban Dictionary website. Oh my god! As, yeah. Not to be an asshole, but as soon as you said munging, I'm like that sounded like I was last week in Chinatown, like a restaurant. Yeah. And then when you said how you prepare it, I'm like that's probably a food there. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, a munging. Maybe I'm just really hungry. <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Like there, oh. uh, there's a band yeah. that I know of called Munyin, like M U N G I O N. They're really popular from Chicago. But since we were all talking about pizza, fun fact: there's more pizza in one 18-inch pizza than there is in two 12-inch pizzas. Really? Yeah, surface area alone. Wait, in an eight-inch pizza? In an eighteen-inch pizza. Oh, got you. By surface area. Wow, well, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. yeah, pi r squared, and that's. Yeah, uh, pizza pi r squared. Pizza. Yeah. I love. Yeah, because you know, I actually have it right on there. Bam. Wow, you've got it ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's good an to know. The meme pizza ready. has uh, two hundred fifty-four inches uh, square inches of surface area. Two 12 inch pizzas, 226 square inches. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. where do you have that written? You just. It's, a, it's, a it's on his phone. Yeah, He's got, got, oh. He's got a phone. tattoo of it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> God, yeah. yeah. Just in case yeah. you forget. Exactly. Do you have like the pizza converter calculator I don't. app? <laughs> I don't. I should. I converted pizza once. Did you? <laughs> Piz- pizza Farian. Speaking of converted converting the fucked up. So my, you know how I mentioned, um, so I mentioned before in an episode that my, my kid has a friend named Daniel who is super fucking religious and what do you know? He's the biggest cunt in the neighborhood just trying to break (laughs) everything, you know, doesn't have any, you you think all those choir verses and singing would, would, you know, let out, you know, use it as an outlet. But he went for a sleepover yesterday and right before the sleepover, the mom asked, is it okay that Gavin, uh, when is he going, you know, I can help you hook you up with communion. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Kelly's like, he wasn't even baptized, you know, like, she's like, and, and we're good. We need him to focus on, you know, Real life. school. Yeah. Yeah. And not that shit. And Ross heard the whole conversation and he flipped shit. He's like, what the fuck? Trying to convert your kid. <laughs> <laughs> but, Wait, it, but did you say that to her? No, no. Like you could hear Ross. In the background, because she was on speaker. Oh. So, no, but but isn't, uh, honestly, like... Wait, she called you before the sleepover? Why? Was it on a Saturday, and they wanted to go to church in the morning or something? Yeah, yeah. Gavin loves going to church with them, because... That's a, a parent, weird sentence. A, yeah. <laughs> well, well, no, what they do is, I don't think it's fucking church. They they literally hang out at some, like, community center and party and eat junk food till like 10 p.m. church. Yeah. And and they did that last week because like we went to sleep and completely forgot that Gavin wasn't even here, that we're supposed to let him in. Great <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I mean, I I don't know. I, I I'm like I don't know if a sleepover is good because she might you know 
go through the whole ritual cult thing <laughs> like we'll, for converting your we'll son giving him a whole day you know on your back Fuck but that. no re- really though like I, I, I don't give a fu- like if it was any other religion don't you think it'd be creepy if, like you know you don't know me I'm, hey, hey man you know uh, your kid's great uh do you mind if i make him jewish you know, yeah, when it comes to, up, do you mind anything? Do you mind if he comes back a Muslim? Like, We're just going to have him like pray with us. Yeah. Like every so often. The fuck you are. <laughs> I'm no, yeah, no, the Christianity is fucked. Yeah. So f- Elaborate. It's just like, it's a, it's a religion based on like what you were saying earlier, pillaging and like they yeah. killed a bunch of fucking people. And it's all basically based on like. I don't know, delusional writings that were misinterpreted and not, you know, thousands of, like, hundreds of years later after it happened. Not to to mention, like, there's actually an actual book written by, uh, you know, like, Terrence McKenna, how he, like, studies acid and everything? Uh I think he collaborated with somebody who specializes in, like, where different plants were in different times. And, like, every single thing, like, oh, Moses went up this mountain and saw a burning bush. It's because he ran into a fucking there. psychedelic on yeah, the way. Yeah, they were eating this bread. Yeah. It was probably moldy or like... Yeah. And then they were, there's like the one passage like when they're like in the desert for 40 days or whatever. Yeah. 42 days, I don't know. And they're like every morning like manna, like they describe like this like ancient like... I think it was 40 years. 40 years. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 40, yeah, 40 what years. What the fuck? 40 years in the desert, you're surviving off no food except for like this mysterious substance that like God gives to you every morning called manna. And like, I don't know, I was reading, I was watching some like, you know, conspiracy documentary where it, I'd like you to call it like, Womanna. Okay, it's 2018. <laughs> <laughs> no, like they, they theorized that the manna was actually like a fungus or something that would grow like in the, from the dew and like they would eat it and like, it was like you know, like fuel the like psychedelic visions. Yeah, like that'd be terrible. Shit. Yeah, like just living in the desert, just Off tripping like mushrooms. day in day out. I, I don't, well, I don't know if he. Just smart. That's probably why they thought it was forty years. It was probably like a week. <laughs> <laughs> and like they're all yeah. just tripping balls. Like, dude, it's where been am I? So long. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, well, no. The the funny. Th- I, I don't know if that's the exact quote. I don't know if they survived, like as in like, oh, they didn't have anything to eat. But there's there's a funny meme that that's like, it says, and Moses wandered for forty years, and then it's like right next to it is like GPS from here to Israel nine hours. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like this fucking jackass just was bad with directions. <laughs> <around> in circles. <laughs> Yeah, maybe maybe he was he if he like was on that. Hundred years old or like five hundred years old or some shit like that. Like apparently Which back then people believe. lived to be super long. How? Yeah. Because I don't know. No they, medical advancements at all. Right, no, then. some people think like the atmosphere in the air was different and like it like enabled you to live longer or something. What know. happened? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think people were just bad at taking right. Exactly. People were just bad at keeping track of time. <laughs> right. When you're on psychedelics, it feels <laughs> like <laughs> things are happening <laughs> forever. I'm 250 <laughs> years old. I think our new sponsor is the Catholic Church. That's right, the Archdiocese <laughs> of Chicago. Dude, it may, it, may, it still makes me laugh to this day. I watch it probably at least once a year. Have you ever seen like the? Uh, it was like a parody of, of Terminator on Mad TV back in the day. No, there's it's a parody of Terminator Three. It's like it's called like Terminator Three back in Jesus time, oh and he goes God. and and like he's like he's he's like at the um at the Last Supper or whatever, and Judas keeps like looking at him weird, so he keeps shotgunning him, and then Jesus keeps bringing him back to life. He's like, "What are you doing? You're <laughs> killing somebody." He's like, "No, he will betray you." <laughs> Kicks him again. It's like he's supposed to. It is, I'm the chosen one. This is supposed to happen. He's like, "No, I'm here to protect you." <laughs> Keeps bringing them back to life. Wow. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Mad TV had its moments. Yeah, yeah. I I, I always like Mad TV better than SNL. That was just me. SNL's been yeah. on for so long. Oh yeah. man, like how like Ooh. decades? Yeah, but re- like the past this decade, I think it sucked. No, it's well, n- SNL. Yeah. I don't know. I know people that swear by it. I know people that watch it like yeah. religiously every Saturday. Well, how would you know? Saturday. You don't have TV or internet, so. That. I just. <laughs> Zach. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I just, the bits I've seen, like, I'm not a fan of. Well, how how can you see? You're blind. 
<laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> Kevin. all right everyone i hope all you've right. enjoyed kevin on the show this will be his last appearance <laughs> um i'm just saying that's all <laughs> sure i'm trying to get to know you bill it's a, frame of, it's a term of speech yeah what's the word yeah. what's the term of, uh, term of figure, figure, figure of speech figure of speech yes yeah, so yeah well same thing i don't know my figure of speech is very well i know colleagues in uh, the blind community that refuse to say things like hey long time no see or hey good to see you yeah, things like that. They'll say like, "Oh, I'll hear you soon," or "I'll hear you later." Yeah, it's like yeah. that just seems Shut so up. unnatural so to me. So PC. <laughs> I like to make things surprising with my epilepsy. You know, yeah. like, "Oh, do you need to take those pills?" You know, you go out with some random girl, and then like, I don't know, things might things might get shaky. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> what do I do? He's shaking. He's drilling at the mouth. <laughs> uh, Is no, the noise. There's right. just that one scene. This guy, this guy and this girl are having sex, and the girl's epileptic. And she has a fucking seizure while while she's right on top of him. Oh, uh, yeah. You don't want to get a yeah. blowjob because I hear that you clench your teeth. Yeah. You get, Ugh. get a sex change right there for yeah. cheaper. SNL has nothing on this content, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> we Come are at us, redefining Lord entertainment. What? So is it time for another break? Or I think so. Let's are we let's good? wind down. Let's go, are you are you bouncing? Uh, I might be leaving soon. Yeah, okay, it's five. Yeah, we could. I mean, should we call it? Yeah, or? yeah let's I gotta go anyway. Rip, oh, yeah, Kevin's yeah. gotta go. We've all gotta go. So this is a great episode. Yeah, I think so. So from It'll all of us right. here, go fuck yourself, Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it! I'm trying to wrap up. I had a nice little like heartfelt speech. You're like, yeah, this sucks. Um, no quim ticklers around here. Mm-mm. <laughs> Would have liked Mm-mm. your kind around here. You quim ticklers. From all of us here at Phil's Basement, to all of you, wherever you are in internet land, thank you for listening. You can find us on Spotify, iTunes, YouTube, Podbean, oh. and in your heart and in your home. Thank you and good night. Amen. You, sh- you should do lullabies with that voice. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.